Hi, welcome to Pitch Book Wrap Up for November. My name's Kirsten Eland and I'm a children's author. Every month I go to a local independent bookshop, choose my favourite picture book, I review it, wrap it up and I give it away. So if you'd like to go in the draw to win this month's book, please comment or share this post. Um, okay, today I have a real treat for you. Um, when We Say Black Lives Matter by Maxine Beniva clark She's the author and the illustrator. Um, it's published by Lothian um, Children's book, which, Books, which is an imprint of Hachette. Um, I bought this one again at Boardwalk Books at Kingscliff. Um, I did try to share it around and go to some other bookshops, but um, I just didn't have the, the range and of new releases that I can get it. Boardwalk Books. So um, a big thanks and a shout out to Boardwalk Books for um, really being such good supporters of the uh, local children's book industry. Um, this is an own voices picture book. Maxine is an Australian author of Afro-Caribbean descent. Um, I heard her on the radio the other day and she said that this is, um, this was her attempt to explain to the children in her extended family um, what the concept Black Lives Matter uh, means. Um, she dedicates it at the front um, for my family and yours. And um, that perfectly sums it up because um, every family um, can use this book to help explain to their children black what Black Lives Matter um, is all about. Um, and so this book follows the child from birth through their childhood. Um, and you can see on this um, the cover page, the, the pregnant um, couple. And then over here is the birth of their baby. And then through the pages, um, the baby grows up. So um, this one reads, little one. When we say black lives matter, we're saying black people are wonderful strong. And um, this passionate poetic language um, it's throughout it really helps convey that depth of meaning and emotion of the term um, black lives matter the illustrations are striking and the colors are bold and beautiful um, and bright but they're also a little bit muted um, and no white space which is unusual in a picture book um, but I think that really adds to the depth of colour and that mirrors the depth of, of the meaning within to me. Um, verbs are used really effectively throughout the whole book. Um, uh, the verbs are really strong and um, they start off deserve and raise and bellow and scream. Uh, when we scream out Black Lives Matter and we march against falling night, we're saying enough is enough is enough. And we need to put things right. So it doesn't shy away from um, from remembering the past and um, the the tough issues um, with the concept of Black Lives Matter, but um, but it also is a, a celebration really of um, Black people and their their culture and, and their strength. Um, so the verbs are um, dance and whisper and sob. And smile. When we smile Black Lives Matter, we're raising our spirits high. We're saying we are here and we are enough. Black, beautiful, brave, my child. And it goes through to ultimately the verb to know and ends on with the, the graduate. Um, the little child's grown right up now graduating um, from university and it says we know we'll be all right and that's a really beautiful hopeful um, age appropriate ending um, and yeah the whole book is just so beautiful to um, talk to kids about such a you know important but hard topic really to convey like the whole of its meaning to kids so yeah um one one um verb that isn't actually expressed in the text but that um 
is so strong throughout is the verb love. Um, so the love of the parents for the child and, and it's really strong throughout. And um, I think love is such a powerful place to start with, to start and to end with when you're talking um, to children um, and discussing Black Lives Matter. So, yeah, I really recommend this book um, for every family. But if you'd like to go in the draw to win this copy, please comment or share on this post. And um, yeah, I'll put you in the draw and good luck. Oh, there we go, we've wrapped it up. Frankie Magazine came to the party again with this beautiful, had these beautiful strong muted colours on them that I thought it really um, fitted really well. So um, yes, thank you very much for listening and um, hopefully see you next month. Bye-bye.